My name is Duncan Davidson. I was born and bred in Sussex, but I have lived in Northumberland for 50 years this year in this house. My first connection with the Queen um, was at the coronation on the 2nd of June, 1953, when I was page to my uncle, the Duke of Norfolk, who was the Earl Marshal, and the Earl Marshal organizes everything to do with the coronation. My mother was the sister of the Duke of Norfolk, and the Duke of Norfolk is hereditary Earl Marshal of England, which means that he runs all the estate, all the state affairs like funerals and like coronations and the like. So anyway, that was my job on the 2nd of June. I was the senior page and part of what I had to do was uh, A, look after the Duke of Norfolk, but B, when the coronation was happening, I had to go to the Queen, who was by that time sitting on a throne, and I had to go up the steps and kneel in front of her and what's called pay homage to her. And I was actually the first person to pay homage to the Queen after her crowning. And then I went back down the steps and then the Royal Dukes, being Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Duke of Gloucester, Duke of Kent, each came forward to pay homage to the Queen. And I took their coronets and they went up the steps, paid homage, I held the coronets. They came back down, I gave them their coronets back. And then after them, the senior Duke, the senior Marquis, the senior Earl, and the senior Viscount and the senior Baron, the five of them, came each to pay homage to the Queen. And I just took their coronets, just like the others, and that was it. I was wearing a, a white coat with gold and red scarlet braid uh, and white breeches and stockings and sort of black shoes. Uh, well, it was only, I wore it on the day and wore it at the dress rehearsals, but uh, after the coronation, it went back to Arundel Castle where the Duke of Norfolk lives and it was, it's on display there to this day in, in, a, in a display of different people's uniforms. I, I was the senior page actually, because I was page to the Duke of Norfolk. But there were lots of pages there. Each of the peers had a page. There were probably 200 of them, I would think. Um, lots of them in the Abbey. The Abbey was an amazing, so and the music and everything was absolutely wonderful. wonderful and the great. thing I can remember most about the Queen, people probably tend to forget this now because of her now advanced age. <coughs> she was very beautiful and she was a very beautiful girl. She was only 26 mm -hmm. when, you think when you think of that. doing that at the age of 26. You, back, you think back to when, when you, you were 26 and what she had to do, you know, on that day and on so many other days. Um, she was a remarkable woman. Uh, the rehearsals, you weren't wearing the kit except for the final dress rehearsal, but we had to go to the Abbey <coughs> every day well, not every day, but three or four times a week uh, for about a fortnight or three weeks before the actual d day of the event and just go through the routine of what was to happen on the day to everybody who was involved. And my aunt, who was Duchess of Norfolk, stood in for the Queen and was the Queen at the dress rehearsals. Um, and, well, I was myself. And um, I can't remember if there was anybody standing in for Prince Philip at the dress rehearsals. There must have been. Must have been. I can't remember who it was, I'm afraid. It's a very long service. It went on for three hours, 
the actual coronation service. Uh, but then after the service, you went back into what they built outside Westminster Abbey was what was called the Annex, which was just a huge building put up only for the coronation and taken down after the coronation. But in that, after the service was over, we all had lunch. The first time that anybody and everybody ate coronation chicken was at that lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. The pages all went in black limousine cars. You know, the royal family were all in coaches and went to and from Buckingham Palace to the Abbey in coaches. But we were all in, in limousines, black cars. We were on the balcony at Buckingham Palace, yes. It was amazing, actually, the number of people. And they all, you've seen it before, it, other royal items on the telly, they all, as soon as they're allowed by the police, they all sort of surge forward to the to the railings in front of the in front of the um, house, the, the palace. All of us were nervous at the dress rehearsals, but when, on the day, it all worked perfectly. So I wasn't at all nervous on the day. But the, there was only one final main dress rehearsal, which I think was about five days before the actual coronation. If the coronation was on a Tuesday, I think it was on the previous Friday was the dress rehearsal, which was a hell of a thing. The dress rehearsal was, frankly, looking back on it, more of an event than the actual coronation day. I think all of all, if you look in those photographs, I think all the people who had a, an important role were in their, like Bernard, were in their um, robes. The, you couldn't get television to different countries in those days. So I well remember all the description of it. The film taken in the Abbey, it was sent with motor motorcycle people to an aeroplane at Northolt, which flew. They, they flew the film, so the that's film. the point, and they flew it round the world in RAF. <laughs> and it was shown in America uh, sort of three hours, three hours after it was happening. Uh, they made a big deal about that in the papers, I remember. I always remember the one of the papers, I think it was the Express, had this big headline on the front page, all this, i.e. the coronation, and Everest too, yeah. because they'd only just got the news yeah. that Everest had been climbed by well, Hillary and Tensing. Gone. Um, anyway, I told you I had two, two things for the quiz. The second one was when I was older, when I was about 16, I was, the Queen has four pages and you see them, things like the opening of Parliament and state of events of any kind, oh. uh, Garter service at Windsor, and I was made a Queen's page, so I went to all these events as her page, holding her train. Um, whether you were in the Houses of Parliament or St George's Chapel, Windsor, um, I, I was, there was me and three others, there were always four behind her, holding her train and steering her in the right direction, hopefully. <laughs> Well done, because she's done such a fantastic job for 70 years. That would be my message. I, I don't think it needs any more.